Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up Halloween 2022. So Halloween 2022, the Unity version, or the Gorilla Tag version, uh, it's pretty popular but not a lot of people have it. So today I'm going to show you how to get it and how to set it up because it's a lot different from the Mountain Beta project. So first things first, don't mind this, I'm currently uploading it. So first things first you want to go into the description scroll down until you see Halloween 2022 and then there should be a Google Drive link it should consist of all the files that you need um, so let me just quickly add <coughs> sorry about that uh, let me quickly add all the files and then I will come back to you okay so this is really all you're gonna need and obviously the Halloween 2022 but then what you want to do you want to download both of them I already have them downloaded so if you haven't already uh, made a playfab and installed Photon, just watch my previous video, it basically explains everything. And instead of using the DLC for games, use this one because it's uh, kind of bigger and it has more stuff. So yeah, use that one. And then after you download the Halloween 2022, you want to drag it out onto your desktop. This might take a while. And then right click it and then click extract. So it should look something like this after you extracted it. Obviously this is just an empty folder because I do not want to use up my space because I only have like a few gigabytes left. So then it should look like this and then you have to have it on your desktop or somewhere where you can easily access it. I have mine in my E drive so I'm gonna do that but if you have yours on the, your desktop what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the arrow, add project from disk and then over here you wanna click desktop and then you should see it right here. You just want to click that and then click add project. But since mine is in my E drive, I'm going to go to my E drive and it should be like exported project, not like Halloween 2022 by Beetle. And if it is Halloween 2022 by Beetle, you just want to open it and then click exported project. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get confused about that. So there you go. That's how to basically fix your project is not valid Pro the problem, but yeah. Then if there's like a little triangular warning icon, you have to click on it and then click install down here. It's basically you need this exact editor version or else you cannot like open it and like edit the game. Then you just want to open it and if if you are um, opening it and it doesn't work or like you're opening it for, not if it doesn't work, if you're opening it for the first time it should take a little longer. Uh, I'm not sure if I already opened this one once. I don't know, but here you go. You just oh, you just want to open it and then wait for it to download. Okay, so when it finally opens, it should look like this. Uh, you just want to um, move this and this over a little, so it's not like super massive in your way, you know. And then I am going to quickly set the FOV to 90 because I really do not like 60 FOV uh, but yeah then you should have your mat or not mountains beta oh my god you should have this in in here but obviously if you play nothing's gonna happen or it's gonna say please update your game or internet's not connected one of those two as you can see if we go down here says unable to connect the internet please check your connection and restart the game but luckily I know how to fix that so first things first what you want to do is you want to open your playfab <coughs> and then right here you want to delete that right here in your playfab you want to go to automation revisions legacy and then right here where you downloaded the the um What is it called? I forgot what it's called. The Halloween 2022 revision. You just want to copy this, paste it in here, and do not save it yet because we're still going to do something. And then in your browser, what you want to do is you want to go to your in any open tab and then just type in pastebin.com 
and then right here in your new paste what you're gonna do you want to do version colon all all caps and then whatever you want your version to be so I'm gonna do Lucy actually I'm gonna do Lucy underscore tag or uh, actually I'm gonna do test tag yeah Lucy Lucy text yeah Lucy test and then you wanna do create new paste and then you wanna click raw and then you want to click that X and then right here you want to copy this then you want to put it somewhere I'm gonna put it right here and then go back to pastebin.com and then type in ISUP colon and then all lower case true create new paste raw and then copy this and paste it somewhere as well so now you have these two then what you're gonna do is you want to go to your revision script and you know how you made your version what you want to do is you want to type that in right here so mine is Lucy test and then again right here you want to do Lucy test or whatever you named yours and then right here where it says whatever you want you can just delete this and then type in like test tag Lucy this is basically just like for your message of the day, but if you change it, then nothing will happen. And then what you want to do is you want to click save as revision 7, deploy this revision after save, and then click save and deploy. Then you want to go back to your speed dial, or whatever you have, where you have your two paste bins, and then go back into your Unity, click project, and then type in here playfab authenticator and this is not where you're gonna put in your playfab or your photon so this is where we're going to put our paste bins in so first after you load it up and it opens you want to scroll down until you see ISUP make sure this is true and then change this right here from shadow unity 10a to Lucy test or whatever you had in your paste bin for your version colon whatever and then what you want to do is you want to come down to line 81 and right where you see this paste bin you want to go to wherever you had your first paste bin with your version colon whatever saved you want to copy that and then paste it in there so make sure this is pasted in here just like that and then you want to go to your other paste bin link and then paste it into link 95 where this paste bin is so just like that and then what you want to do is you want to change this from shadow tag to whatever your game name is so I'm gonna do Lucy tag and then right here Lucy tag And if you scroll down, there is this um, paste bin. Let me quickly see what it is. Oh, so this is basically just the um, message of the day. What you want to do is you would just want to completely delete that, just like that. And then you want to go to your paste bin. and see how it says the best or the red lucy times whatever you can just copy this or just make a new paste bin so i'm gonna go to paste bin boom 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 and then i'm gonna do um test yeah so let me just do test yeah and then you just want to do create new paste raw and then copy this. You don't have to make a test, you can just do it whatever you want. And then paste that paste bin in there. Scroll down. And then that's all you have to do for your Playfab authenticator scripts. And now, if you try to launch the game, it still will not work. It'll still say, um, unauthenticate, play fab, or whatever, or like connection. 
but to fix that and to make servers work you want to type in your assets you want to type in playfab server or playfab shared my bad all together you want to click on the first one and then in your playfab you want to copy this right here so your five letters and your five numbers or whatever it is you want to paste that into title ID then you want to type in photon server click the first one and then you want to keep app version as live 1122 and then you wanted to go to your playfab or your photon I'm going to quickly do this off screen but then you want to copy your app ID, your real time app ID and paste it into here so just like this and then you want to take your voice ID and paste it in here and then what you want to do you just want to click on really anything so that goes away boom so now whenever you click on anything and everything goes away you want to click on play and I had trouble figuring out what the problem was because after I did it it didn't work but turns out I just didn't have my photon activated and you don't actually have to do the third paste spin that's just complete nonsense uh, but if you want to change the message of the day you can just by deleting the third paste spin and then typing in whatever you want and just to prove to y'all that it actually works I'm gonna type in gorilla player um, yeah gorilla player and then right as I move outside he should gain one of the uh, the rock color and Lucy does actually spawn in this server or this um, this version so no need to do anything to fix that cosmetics work as long as you use the caves DLC and yeah that's how you make your gorilla tag Halloween 2022 version work see you